Breaking news right now as we learn Israel has officially denied entry for two Democratic lawmakers known for their criticism of Israel. Welcome to a brand new hour inside America's newsroom. I'm Sandra Smith. The news is breaking fast, and I'm just <laughs> catch my breath. We shall in time, right? Morning, Smith. Good morning. I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning at home. Israel blocking Congresswoman Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, who have supported Israeli boycott movement known as BDS. There's also brand new reaction from the president who'd announced the lawmaker's trip on Twitter ahead of Israel's decision. So it's happening right now, and Trey Yinks has the story. He is live in Jerusalem. Trey. Bill, the Israeli government making a last-minute decision to ban these two congressmen from entering the country. Representatives Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib were scheduled to visit Israel on Friday. Suspected of promoting the boycott, divest, sanctions, or BDS movement, the members will be denied access in accordance to an obscure 2017 law in Israel that allows the government to deny entry to those who encourage these actions within the movement. While Israel's interior minister is responsible for granting visas to all foreign citizens wishing to visit, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was likely consulted on the decision. Fox News can confirm that President Trump spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this week about the issue, and this morning the president tweeted, quote, it would show great weakness if Israel allowed Rep. Omar and Rep. Tlaib to visit. They hate Israel and all Jewish people, and there is nothing that can be said or done to change their minds. Minnesota and Michigan will have a hard time putting them back in office. They are a disgrace. Reports do indicate that Israeli officials informed congressional leadership Wednesday night about the decision. Just last month, Israeli ambassador to the United States, Ron Dermer, said his country would not block any member of Congress from traveling here. Last week, 41 Democratic congressmen visited Israel, and this week, 31 Republicans are touring the country and holding meetings. Now, this tweet by President Trump this morning, certainly putting the prime minister in a difficult situation, sort of forcing him to double down on the decision. This will certainly appease the president, but is going to anger many House Democrats. Bill? Thank you, Trey. Trey Yanks, breaking news.